first an apology. I know everyone is enjoying the Centauri Carbon daily videos, and I keep getting notes from people saying, thanks, it's great to see the real world usage. That's what I'm going for. I'm trying to post at least one video every day, sometimes two, sometimes three, but I've actually had some family trips and been traveling and got behind on work. I'm lucky to get one a day up. I'm going to try to improve on that. And one of the reasons is companies like 3D Hojor just keep sending me more filament to try because I, I get the filament, I shoot the videos, I post them, people go buy filament. It makes everyone happy. Right, so the most recent, oh, it fell off, had four of these mini spools in it. So you see three of them here. I'd already used two on the big roll. This one is a purple and black uh, silk PLA, all right? So I printed a guitar pick with it. Uh, so let's see what that looks like. I think we got pretty good detail. I may need to raise the temperature on that, that first layer a little bit. I think I printed this at uh, 210 on the first layer. I think I'll bump that up to like 220. The top layer looks pretty good. And uh, you know, you get a lot of stringing on the, the little honeycomb pattern here if your temperature is not perfect. So I think I got to dial this one in just a little bit, but I have actually found that Silk PLA is my favorite for making guitar picks. The feel, the wear resistance, everything, I like it better than anything else I've tried. I don't know why you would think it would suck because it's made to be pretty and not to be durable, but I like it for guitar picks. 